It's always a pleasure to be here, and Sylvia is a wealth of information, so listen to every word she has. She's uh, recently came out and spoke at my freelance marketplace writers group, which is on the third Tuesday of the month at Borders in Rochester Hills. It's on Rochester Road, just south of Avon. We meet at 7.30 p.m. right near the cafe. It's free to attend and we welcome all genres and all levels of writing. We discuss the business of writing. Many of these critique groups that are out there, and I, I encourage you to join as many writing groups as you possibly can. Many of the critique groups that are out there, that's all they do though is critique. And they're very nice. You take your work and you pass it around and people will read it and pass it back to you. Uh, they give you a small critique. Find a critiquing group that works best for you. Um, there are the soft, warm, fuzzy ones that will tell you your work's great and they love it and they can see it in a book. And that's good. Some people need that early positive development to keep moving. There's also the very harsh critique groups. And if you're thick-skinned and you're at that point where you really need it torn apart, thrown back at you, then those are your groups. And there's everything in between. Um, as well as the ones that meet personally, there's the ones that go online and you can submit your work that way. Find one that works with your schedule, your genre, and your level of writing. Mine, however, is the business of writing. And I went to all of these critiquing groups and found that not many of them were discussing the business of writing, such as publishing, promoting yourself, and getting paid. And basically the three Ps promoting, publishing, and getting paid. Those are three things that we all want to do as writers. It doesn't matter what your genre is, it doesn't matter your writing style, you want to promote yourself, you want to get published, and everybody wants to get paid. And we encourage doing that, and doing it more often, and getting paid better for it. There's all kinds of markets out there. Uh, the self-publishing, mainstream publishing, magazine articles, newspapers, I think there's still a couple newspapers in town. Um, I believe that newspapers will make a comeback. I believe this for two reasons. One, I'm a journalist and I plot. And second is I think that people are getting tired of being glued to screens. And there will be a soft turnaround and people will come back to a publication that they can hold in their hands, they can flip the pages, they can smell the paper and the ink. It's more of an experience, I think, to pick up a publication to read it. What will happen is the big dailies, the, the big newspapers will crash and burn, except for a few. And I think that the small newspapers, the small community newspapers, will start to rise to the surface. And those newspapers are the ones that you want to be involved with. That being said, magazines are a wonderful place to get started uh, and continue your career as a journalist. Whether you're writing books or you're just freelancing small articles, look at magazines. There's about a hundred magazines that close their pages forever every month. There's also about a hundred that start up. We hear about the ones that are closing, the big ones with the big names, and we worry about the publishing industry. Look at the ones that are starting up and be open-minded about your genre and finding a publication that works best. Okay, I think I talked a little bit about writing groups and publishing. Um, I want to highlight uh, the Save the Date flyer that I have over here in bright yellow. This October 2nd, it's a Saturday, I'm hosting my third annual Rochester Writers Conference. This year will be held at Oakland University in Rochester Hills. It's a Saturday event. Early bird rate is $99 and that will start in August. This is an all-day event for writers of all levels and all genres. Uh, Sylvia Hubbard was gracious enough to speak at my first one on self-publishing. Some of the workshops that we've had, and let me explain, there's three styles of, of presentations that we have. Workshop, and that's where you come and actually produce work and have it critiqued right there in class. Panel discussions, where you have two or three people discussing a particular topic. Most of that is Q&A. And we also have lecture, which is where the presenter just talks to you and you take notes. We have 12 presentations in one day, and three of them are going on at a time. So you can pick and choose four of the 12 that best fit your needs 
in your genre and your writing level. We have anywhere from children's writing to travel writing. We also have book publishing, finding an agent, writing for uh, reworking your work and reselling it again, uh, poetry. We'll have all the things listed very shortly at rochesterwriters.com. So please pick up a flyer to remind yourself of the date, which is October 2nd, and the website, my phone number and email are on there if you have any questions. So I hope to see you in October, and it looks like I'm going to be seeing Sylvia in November. And, and I do encourage you to join anything that Sylvia does because she has she has so many networking things out there. Um, I can't even keep up with them all. So you need to write a book on how to keep up with yourself. 